Choosing the right real estate brokerage as a brand new agent is a really tall task. Even for a experienced agent, this task can be quite tall. And most agents pick the wrong brokerage for the wrong reasons, and it ultimately leads them to failure. So in this video, I want to go over some important questions to ask as a new agent looking for their next brokerage, and also some things to look out for and some red flags that can help you avoid brokerages that are the wrong fit. So let's dive right into the video. Selecting a brokerage is a business choice that all agents have to face at one point in their life. In most cases, they have to face it multiple times. I remember when I first got my real estate license six years ago, I had to go interview and talk to multiple different brokerages. And I actually ended up going to three different brokerages right off the bat. And my third one that I landed on is the one I've been with ever since. So it ended up being a great fit. But the first two brokerages weren't the perfect fit. And in this video, I want to go through a quick checklist and some questions that you should be asking to make sure that you can spot the right fit for you as a brand new agent and to hopefully help you avoid wasting a lot of time at the wrong brokerage so you can start growing your business a lot quicker. So the very first thing I wanna jump into is the importance of finding a brokerage that has training in place. So many real estate brokerages will tell you that they have great training and great systems in place for new agents, but it's important that you ask follow-up questions because let's face it, most brokerages grow and most brokerages make profit from recruiting new agents into their business and helping them sell more homes. So they want to tell you things to help get you in the door and become an agent at that brokerage. So you want to keep that in mind. They're trying to sell you on the opportunity of coming to their brokerage in most cases. So you want to ask follow-up questions and read between the lines and see if they really do have something in place that's going to help you succeed at a faster rate. Now, some of the questions that you can ask as a new agent is what type of mentorship programs do you have in place? How does the mentor program work? And also ask what the success rate in that mentorship program is. And what does success look like in that program? Does the average new agent that comes in the first year sell two houses? Is that what they consider success? Or do they sell 12 to 15 houses? Like what are they identifying as success in their mentorship program? Because what you see as success and what they see as success might be two different things. And you wanna make sure you dig deep and find out the truth. So the most important thing is as a new agent, and I'd even argue for even as an experienced agent, is get into a place that has training, that you can grow, that you can expand, and that you can learn. Because let's face it, a lot of agents get into this business, they do really well, and then they get complacent, they get comfortable, and they just do the same thing over and over and over again, and they never really expand. So you wanna get into an environment, and you wanna get into a brokerage that has a culture of learning and growth, especially as a new agent. The next thing I want to talk about is commission splits. So when I was brand new, I did not want to hear it. I didn't want anybody taking my commission. I didn't want anybody cutting into my commission. And I just wanted a 100% commission split. I was brand new. I was arrogant. And that's how I felt. And I know a lot of people feel that way. And the first thing that they look out for when they go, you know, look for a brokerage or a team to join is what commission split they offer. Now, when I first started, I thought that this was the right approach and the smart approach as a business person. And it's logical, right? We all want to keep more money and we want to put more money in our pockets. But as I expanded and grew in my career, I realized that that was a big mistake. I passed up on many opportunities to work with so many huge agents that I could have learned from and grew my career at a much more rapid pace if I was just willing to give up a small percentage of my commission to them for the experience, knowledge, and training. So don't focus 100% on the commission split. I would rather take a slice of a watermelon than an entire blueberry. It's still gonna equal more. Even though you're giving away a portion of it to somebody else for their expertise, just look at it as you investing in yourself and accelerating your success. 
So try not to get hung up on the splits. I know I did when I first started and it was a massive mistake, especially if you're a new real estate agent. Now, if you're an experienced agent and you're doing huge numbers, it might be a completely different story. You're probably looking for different things because you already have an established business built and you might want to go out there and look for the best commission split for the most value. That makes total sense. I'm at a brokerage right now that takes a flat fee and that has been working out really great. And I've been here for, you know, six years now. So it's been a really good experience paying a really small percentage because what I do is I reinvest that money into the team, buy leads, reinvest into systems and processes. So it allows me to, you know, spend more on marketing while paying less, but you might not be at that point yet, right? Let's face it. A lot of agents that are just starting out, they need as much help as possible because this industry has a 87% failure rate and you don't want to become another statistic. The next thing to look out for as a new agent is the ongoing monthly fees that some brokers charge. Now, some brokerages charge a ongoing monthly fee to be a part of their brokerage. Now, think of this kind of like a gym membership. Every month you have to pay that fee no matter if you're selling houses or you're not selling houses. It's just like the person that signs up for the gym uh, New Year's Day and says, hey, this is awesome, and then they never go to the gym again, they're still paying for that membership. So as a new agent, this one's important. And I would say this is more important than the splits because if you don't have a lot of money set aside and it's gonna take you some time to get your first sale and your first commission, you don't wanna be burning through that money that you saved with these ongoing monthly fees that you're paying to your brokerage. Now, if you have to pay a small fee to be at the ideal brokerage that has great training in place, that's totally fine. Just make sure you do the math and calculate how much you're gonna actually spend over that year and how much that's gonna dig into the money you had saved to make this business work. Last but not least is the commission cap. Now, some brokerages have a commission cap. And basically what that means is, is if you have a rock star year and you sell a bunch of houses, they're gonna stop taking a cut of your commission once you hit that commission cap. Now, this is again, not something to worry about when you're brand new. If you have a rock star year, that's awesome and I hope you do. But don't avoid awesome brokerages with awesome mentorship in place just because you wanna to go to a place that has a really low commission cap because you think you're gonna save money and make more money in turn. Because in most cases, agents that think that way and they avoid the training end up failing out of the business before they even make their first commission. So it's super important to double down on training and mentorship. You wanna be asking these questions and you wanna make sure that the brokerage that you go with is gonna be there with you step-by-step step as you go through the trials and tribulations of this business because this business can be hard. I remember all the times that I struggled through certain transactions when I was brand new and I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to handle cer certain situations that come up and having a mentor there that's gonna be able to kind of hold your hand through that and give you advice is priceless. So make sure you're at a good brokerage that's gonna give you guidance and mentorship above everything else. And the other things that I told you about, definitely ask those questions because you're a business person, you're a real estate entrepreneur, and you wanna ask these things because they are important as you grow your business, but don't make them the sole focus. Focus on training and focus on growing because as a brand new agent, that's gonna help you get to the next level as soon as possible. So if you like this video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Comment down below what tip you found most useful in selecting your next brokerage. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day.